what is the need for a minority theater? One of the basic needs is that of giving young adults the opportunity to work in the field without having uh, any barriers that will destroy them later on. And this gives them, gives them confidence. It gives us confidence and uh, just a really great opportunity to work with each other. What about mechanical um, problems like diction, like movement, like the things that everybody has to deal with? Well, this, because it's a training program for all of us, uh, all beginning or new actors or technicians uh, have, have this problem as far as, as being prepared to take jobs in the future, and this is what we're doing. So we're, it's like getting training from here at the center and then putting it into use. Just go. Okay, take it from, uh, you know what your brother really was. Do you know what your brother really was? Okay, okay. all right. Take the was and then sustain a little more. You're just you're chopping it off. Sustain a little more. Do you know what your brother was really? Take Do you know what your brother really was? Take it again. Yeah, take, take it again. Take it again. Do you know what your brother really was? A cheap, idiotic bounder. That's what he was. A cruel, vicious little voluptuary with just enough wit to drive a car faster or spend more money than any of his pals. I was with your father one day. Okay, I was what? I was with. Okay, I'll that's why you better slow down then. I was with. Stephen is working with them basically, for instance, with speed, clarity, basically understanding of, of lines, rhythm, feeling. Or spend more money than any of his pals. I was with your father one day when Polonaisis, who had lost a lot of money gambling, asked your father to settle the debt for him. And when your father refused, the boy raised his hand against him and called him a vile name. That's a lie. He struck your father in the face with his fist. It was pitiful. Your father sat at his desk with his head in his hands. His nose was bleeding. He was weeping with anguish. Okay, now take it back to uh, just before Chiquita's line and give me a little more forward and a little more tone. You're pulling back like this and we're losing some of the, the power of your words. We're losing some of the power. Okay, just before her line. Cheryl has used basically modern uh, dance techniques for preparation uh, for this particular show and she's blended now those techniques for the particular concept of this production of Antigone. Do you know how Creole works? Yeah. His mob will come running, howling as it runs. A thousand arms will Okay, really make arms. your face ugly. The mouths are working. Mouths working. Our faces, that one single pair of eyes, a thousand eyes will stare at us, will be driven in a tumble through their hatred, through the smell of them and their cruel, roaring laughter, will be dragged to the scaffold for torture, surrounded by God. Okay, let's take the laughter and really get <coughs> grotesque. Your faces still aren't ugly enough. I mean, it's not scary. Just having your eyes wide. Okay, just take it from Roy and I love you. No! It wasn't for myself! Uh, go back, go back to the point where uh, you give her the response. Um, I can scratch out everything you write, say there. Uh, instead of, instead of, Instead of waiting until after you finish the line to go sit down, take it as you say the line. Then for Antigone, I love you. Is that all? That's all. You know, that's a funny kind of a letter. I know. Now who's the two? But I haven't finished yet! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go. Okay. Okay. Uh, we'll be